anything anything goes in, in here in these woods. We just we could, we could be anything and be, do anything. And, hence you know, now. <laughs> hence, hence now coming up with these crazy ideas of going to Colombia. Urumila, oh mamãe, Urumila, oh mamãe, talade, talado me ocho, mozoró, como mamãe achou até um dia, oba algum aberico. I know there's more in me, and you know, and, and I'm in the search for, better, for the best coach and the best boxer because I know I can fight with the best. I'm, you know, 31 now, and it's like, you know, tight. The clock is ticking. You know, it's not too late, but you know, things have things have got to move move quickly. My brother is a serious boxer at a pretty high level. I mean, sort of the top end amateur. He could go professional. I think maybe part of this whole journey is maybe building his confidence and getting him back in the mode. This is his last chance of uh, getting back in the ring. But Colombia is the sort of country where only the strongest survivors a hard place. Boxing is a way to go from rags to riches and escape from the shanty towns and become a national icon. If we're honest, we, we chose Colombia not because of its reputation as a, as a dangerous place, although that does have an appeal to my brother, I think, but also because it has a history and a culture of, of producing good boxers. I think we're extremely different, you know. My brother's, you know, he's a very intelligent character. He's quite an anxious guy as well. I mean, I love him as my brother, but I still can't deal with him. We've never really hung out together before. I had a brother there that I hardly saw for, to be honest, for 10 years. Basically, most of my childhood was being beaten up. <laughs> Me tormenting my older brother and I'm taking the consequences. Jim's way of, I don't know if it was his way of coping or his way of dealing with things, it would just resist everything and anything. Because you were and such a control freak, this is why. <laughs> Go on, say your this piece. Is, no, no, no. This Hope is as good as what I've got to say. <laughs> it's like, loving it. it. Look, he's loving it. You know, he's loving it. it. Come on, this, is what, this is what led. <laughs> We're off again. Orlando. Orlando, see? Banana. Hey. Orlando, he's basically a 72 year old boxing coach. Back in the day, he fought to a world class level. He's an excellent player. He's a good boxer. Las competencias, ¿cuántos chances tiene él en boxeo profesional? Pero yo creo que eso no es, hay posibilidades. Oh, yeah. oh, 20. Tiene que trabajar mucho. Los running. The level in this gym is, is very, very good. It's been a great day to find out that uh, Mrs. Haley had passed away. She's our godmother and she basically brought us up. She's probably the most singular reason that Jim and I are as we are. <sighs> She's just an amazing free spirit, but we'd have gone on adventures where we'd, we'd go into woodland and, and imagine we were hunting tigers. <laughs> Put a little, you know, like the likes, this little plaque. Little plaque. Put a little memory of. Watch out for the tigers. There are tigers in this wood. <laughs>